You all doing okay? Everybody not too cold? You're all glad that you've come out here to protest? Oh yeah. Well, my name is Tim Nelson and I represent an organization called Hope for Justice, which is an anti-slavery movement started here in Manchester. I just want to say for a few moments that actually the slave trade is abhorrent. Currently, the United Nations and the slavery, Global Slavery Index recognize that there are 24.9 million people in slavery all over the world. Wow. That needs to stop now. Immediately. Every single person needs to stand up and be counted that that needs to stop now. There are three principal forms, for those who don't know, of slavery. There are those people who are held in sexual exploitation, those people who are held in bonded slavery, and those people who are held in domestic servitude. We also talk about those people who are trafficked for organ harvesting. Again, an abhorrent crime that's going on in sub-Saharan Africa and across the globe. But let me tell you that when a group of people come together, as a movement of people, we start to see things change. In 2007, I heard about this issue when I met a man who told me he was a, he was a undercover slave agent finding people all over the world and rescuing them from trafficking. And he challenged me that there was something we could do in this country because it was going on in this country. And I met a man called Ben Cooley, a trained opera singer who wanted to tell people about this issue. And there were nine of us got behind it, that mission that he had, and we birthed an organization called Hope for Justice. We didn't know what we could do, but we just knew that we had what we'd been given. We've got a voice that we need to speak out. And we decided that we would start to try and tackle this crime. Not just that we would hope for justice, but we would act for justice. And we started taking on former senior police officers to do undercover work and to find people. At that time in the UK, only 88 people had been rescued under an operation called Pentameter One, using the entire weight of England and Wales police force. And in our first year, we rescued 110 victims of modern slavery, the youngest being three months old, the oldest being 58 years old in this country. Now we're talking today about Libya and it's abhorrent and for anyone who has seen the, those images on social media, you can feel kind of paralyzed. You can feel like you don't know what you can do. But I'm so glad that so many of you turned out today, so many of you wanted to lend your voice to, to make a difference. You know, I'm, I see this all over the world and I've had, the, I've had the, the, the challenge of being able to go undercover and see slavery in all parts of the world and it's wrong. But when there's a movement of people, when we do come together and we stand shoulder to shoulder, we're an unstoppable army that people have to listen to. And today people are going to listen, not just in this city, but across this country, that there's a movement of people who say that modern slavery in the 21st century must stop now. Now, must stop. You know, I've had the privilege this last year to go out to uh, Memphis and stand in, and, and stand in the spot where Martin Luther King was assassinated hmm. and go to the National Civil Rights Museum. And the night before he was assassinated, he spoke a message to a group of people not knowing what the future would hold. But he told them that we would have some difficult days ahead, but we will get to the promised land and we will see freedom for every single person. And I'm reminded that today, I've, I've spoken to so many people about this march, about what's going on in Libya, and so many people think that it is impossible. But I, I find the words of Muhammad Ali and what he said to impossible. He said, impossible is just a big word thrown around by small-minded men who find it easier to live in the world that they've been given than the power they have to change it. Impossible is nothing. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is a dare. And today we take up that dare and we say it, that slavery is wrong, that we have the power to change it. I'm asking whether or not you can join with us at Hope for Justice, standing shoulder to shoulder and be an answer to this problem, not just in Libya, but all over the world. Because this movement, this grassroots movement must not decrease, but it must increase. We need more people to join. It's not a respecter of creed or color. It's not a respecter of background. It's not a respecter of anything. Because the fact that people are bought and sold is wrong. Whether it happens in Libya, whether it happens in the UK, wherever it happens all over the world, we have the power to stop it from happening. Yeah! And we can join together and see this end. Join together to say impossible is just a big word thrown around by small-minded men. Impossible is actually a dare. Impossible is a challenge that each and every one of us can take up.
Impossible is something that in the center of Manchester we can speak out across the globe. I'm reminded in 1862 when a group of 5,000 people got together in this city at the Free Hall and they put their names to a petition that went to Abraham Lincoln that though their lives were in danger in this country because of the transatlantic slave trade stopping, they put their names to it to say that slavery was wrong. And that was pivotal for Abraham Lincoln pushing forward legislation that would see a change to the transatlantic slave trade. Your voice matters today. In 2017, this may be a day that echoes in eternity for so many people in Libya who are held against their will. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out on a cold day, on a cold day in a northern city. People don't think this happens, but it does when people can stand shoulder to shoulder to see a difference. So my friends, I am so thankful that you're here, but don't just think that you have nothing that you can do about this. Don't stay paralyzed. Don't stay locked up because we've realized that we need to greet cynicism with hope. We need to, cho we need to challenge apathy with action and we need to see people go after the least, the last and the lost in society. And we need to see an end to modern slavery. So I thank you today for joining with us. I thank you that you're going to be part of this march today. And don't ever think that you cannot bring your light to this dark world because we need your light to shine so brightly at this point in time all over the world and ending modern slavery. Thank you for your time today. I'd like to turn it over to Simeon Malcolm, who's going to speak next. Thank you so much.